M0 FXP Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. So, the new firmware of the OpenGD77 allows you to send a PRS, and we've been testing the RT3S and the DM1701, and we're going to test my 9600 next, not sure if that one does it, but anyway, let's, uh, let's just give it a, well, we've already set it up, I want you to see it working, and then I'll link in a video of me setting it up. So all we do is go TX, hold down the TX, we've selected the channel which is pre-configured. And there you go. We've got APRS coming from the RT3S, UV380, UV390 to the FT5. You can see that it's all there. And it's quite, it's a simple process. I'll just show you a couple of bits. And that is if you go to menu, uh, just make sure in, when you select satellite that you've got your location in there. Then also go up to options, let's find options, go into options and that with the new firmware, you've got APRS options, enter and it just I've selected the mode to transmit which you change with the middle button as PTT because yeah you can get it to auto transmit. That was pretty much all I changed. If you go to auto transmit there's more to change and then all it is when you create the channel, the APRS channel which is 144800 you, which is done on the in the software, you tell it to transmit your pre-configured settings. I'll quickly show you them. So I'll provide a link to the new CPS or programming software as well. Look, it's basically May 2024. You've got a tab here, double click it, APRS, and you get this, and you can add different APRS channels. And the one we've got is here, double click where it says number one. And this is where I put mine. Okay, and I've got a little comment there. I haven't changed anything really at all uh, and then it just works and within the channel you just select APRS1 because that's that'll be a list if you've created more than one um, and that's all you do analog 144800 you put in your lo location here as well if you want and you're ready to go give it a go thanks for watching